Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and I'm here with episode 11 of Amnesia. In the previous episode, we finished off going through the sewers and getting chased in the progress. Uh, we entered the nave for the first time, and then we spoke to Agrippa, whose uh, remains are well, still alive for that. And then we explored the chancel, which, um, as I said, I, w I was a bit... Um, sorry, I'm just... I've just forgot to turn on my stopwatch. There we go. Um, I said that I had no idea what we were meant to be doing, because we were in the chancel, I think, is where we were. Um, we weren't supposed to be in there. Um, there is something that I missed. and um, We are actually meant to go through the other two rooms first. That's the last place that we're meant to go. Um, so I did a little look through the um, guide to this game to find out what I'm actually meant to be doing. So I've caught myself up a bit briefly. But um, I've returned to the nave because that's where we need to be. Um, so let's return to Agrippa. Oh, got another flashback. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Okay, then. Hey, Agrippa. How you doing, buddy? Uh, oh. I hate to bother you first, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? Um, I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Okay, what was that? Agrippa the Dying Man seeks a note written by a man named Johann Weyer. Um, okay. Uh, what are we actually meant to be doing? Oh, Zappa. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Okay, thanks. Uh, what we need to do is... We need a crate or something. Ah, well, the chair will do, I should think. We need to get onto this table. Alright, uh, uh, I don't... Just give me a sec, guys. Um, I think now we go up and we activate those levers. I mean, I thought that's what we did, but I'm a little bit confused. Oh, wait, no, we, can, we can't use that, can we? Oh, no, we did pick up a bit of oil. Never mind. I think this episode I'm going to aim to try and pick up all six of the orb pieces that we need. Um, see that how far that takes us. It shouldn't be too long. I don't think the areas are that big, although I could be wrong. Um, right, so where are those levers? Uh, they're here, aren't they? Still broken. Still not working. Hey, this still those still on island now. Nice. Right, so that didn't work. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I got the note was saying that you need to activate the trap door, which is what I did. Um, I don't know if there's something in there I was supposed to do. Here's my slight headache. Oh, okay, so our sanity's recovered quite a bit. It was like the ellipsis before, so you know, I'm not too great. Uh, wasting so much time. 
Ah, you get it. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Oh, is it? No, that's Serac. was difficult that I don't understand how I would have got that without the guide to be honest. You have one door open and then that just doesn't do anything. Without a guide I would have never have gotten that to be honest. So I don't think this episode this um, series is gonna go on for much longer. Possibly four at the maximum more episodes. Should be sad because I mean as much as this game scares the living shit out of me, you know. So it's a fun game to play, to be quite honest. Right, alright. There we go. That's, that's something. Alright, can I, can I, let me pick it up, look. There we go. So we can't invent us now. Obstruction. Yeah. Alright, so those last three don't really matter to us at the moment. So, um, it's just we need to pick up the odd pieces. That's our main priority right now. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Um, yeah, you're not going to stop me, dude. Putting an end to your plans. Don't worry, Agrippa will sort you out, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Was there something else? No, but... You got the doors open? Good going. I knew it was great. Okay. Thank you. Um... What is it? Right. We want to go down here. Which is to the choir. That doesn't work. Um, right, so that's the door down there. I want to go in here first. And in here we have some loud enough, some tinder, sorry. Um, some loud enough on the shelf. There's also some tinder in this thing, I believe. Oh, wait, no, that's an artifact. Um, we'll get that in a second. I think there's one in one of these drops. Yeah, there it is. Um, thank you. Right. Let's start for this um, artifact. Let's see what this one says. In court, the order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other whilst I sit quietly in place. Willfully forgotten, once in a while someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their father's places and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. Okay. Right, so that further proves the immortality thing, doesn't it? Alright, what's this? Agrippa channels where? Weyer taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an, enli how an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world beyond. Weyer claimed he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first needs me to give him a gripper first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success I would happily oblige, but how I am to part from him in my return might be died. I know what they are capable of, I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I shall retain it, I shall prepare for the for his release. To release a gripper without killing him, Moya told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae and tamper. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae should be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. 
I just need large amounts to, to distill it properly, remember to collect this during the next torture session. Temper on the other hand will provide more difficult, I don't think it exists in this world, simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kayank. Kayank. That's the um, water dwellers, aren't they? I will have to address Weyer with this, and you shall have to supply me with a host, also a proper, properly prepared well, also a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Once I'm not, do we return this to a gripper or something? Just quickly pop back and see him, because he might give us some more things. No, don't kill her. Because he said to see him. Dad, good to see. You. Incredible! You found Vaya's recipe. Then there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another realm. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, then. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via this guy. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore, you won't be able to save me. was a specific tonic made to save him. Alright. Okay, so we did get a bit of an extra thing there, which I'm kind of glad for. Right, so now we are going to go into the choir. And pick up the first three pieces of the orb. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. Okay. Alrighty, um, we're going to ignore these two doors for now, we'll get back to them later. But for now we're going to go straight into the main hall. The fear had begun to, to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration he smashed it against the bedpost. Whew. Okay, this is a big... Jesus. What was that? So I had it, right, okay. Right, this is quite difficult to what navigate. Are my intentions, Daniel? <coughs> Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the all Curiosity in with your selfishness <laughs> that is killing us both. I had no idea where he came from then. Right. Right, okay, so there are people down there. Time, I guess. I should have expected that to be honest. This does seem like the kind of place where the guys will appear. Okay. Careful. Do not want to bump anybody here. I've got tinder and oil. If we carry on holding the right wall, we should encounter a path. Ah, Tinder. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Right. Uh, that guy, yeah, that guy didn't give any warning last time. So. Better be careful. Um, I don't know where he's coming from. 
Do you come from the left or the right? He's nearby, I'm sure of that, but which side did he come from? Especially with the mist in here, it's quite difficult to see. They didn't see us, that's always a bonus. <laughs> Whew, I thought we had it. We had it, we're in for it then. Um, um, right, I think he's gone. Alright, get out of my way, please. Right, so we want to turn down this away. I think. Right. Okay. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. Mm. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. <sighs> That's pretty grim. Okay. There we have our first piece of the orb. Over here, that's one out of six. Now, apparently, if we interact with the wheel, something should happen. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent. So the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest. Struck the victim's chest in the fine light of mercy. Ooh, that's not nice. It ain't nice at all. Right, we're done in here. This is that's the first out of the third, uh, the first out of the three orbs, or pieces in the choir. So we go straight on, I think. Don't run! I didn't! I didn't run! I stood perfectly still, and he saw me anyway. <laughs> These guys are bloody bastards, aren't they? Alright, where are we now? Oh, we're back at. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, so. Oh, but we've still got the. odd piece. Again, don't freaking kill me because then I'm gonna be annoyed. I'm gonna have to go all the way back again. I'm killing too much time. I'm only 20 minutes in, and we're not even through the, like a third of the way through this area yet. This might have to be split into two episodes. I'm hoping not, though. 
So it definitely takes past the 20 minute marker to get through this. I don't know if I should just do um, a bigger episode. is the first ingredient that we need for Agrippa's potion. Okay. Through here's another torture room. We should find the second thing. Um, piece of the orb. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Let me... Find your bloody... Right, um, the tinder. And then up here should be the old piece. But what this guy? Uh, let me get it. There we go. If we interrupt with the orb. The traitor did not know what to think of the rasp as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realise it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the breast chamber and travelled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside the men could hear the brazen bull below. Bellow. E. Um, okay. Right. Okie dok. What we're gonna do is we wanna head straight until we reach the main hall again. I'm gonna go a bit slower now. Hook the wall. Actually, I want to hook the left wall. Oh, oh, risky move, risky move. Right. So, hook the left wall. And cross the bridge, which is that. Second. Turn right.
25 minutes in. We're gonna finish up in the choir and then we'll call it a day. That's the exit, so I wanna go right at the exit. So this away. Still, the casket has been closed, but with a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to just to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. It, in pain, his head fell, sl fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realise his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Oh. Ugh. Okay, so we are done in here. Is everything gone red? We're out of oil. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Why are they all multicolored? It's weird. Right, okay. Now it's time to make a break for it. Run, run, run. They don't know we're here. They don't know. They don't know nothing. On moving, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Ah, uh, you can't scare me. <laughs> Something downside of him that day, watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. There we go. We are done in there, we are not encountering that guy for a little while now. Um, we're going here. Is this the right one? Ah, Tinder. Yes, it is. Oh, give me the freaking Tinder. Give me the freaking Tinder. Thank you. Uh, another torch place. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Oh, grim. Another Tinder. Nice. Okay, and then in this room. There's a note. Should also be a. Thing shouldn't there? Um, no, no, there's not. Okay. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Ooh. Oh, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. I don't want to do that. Oh. Please, I can't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. How you sleep. Jesus. Well, one life for another. 
You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Bloody hell. That was morbid. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Well, that was nothing short of bloody morbid. And these freaking things fr fuck now, isn't it? Alright. Well, we're completely done with the choir now. Let's return to the nave. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he decided to look for the, for the Damascus rose oil. Alright, we've been in there. Looks like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transit and find the rest of the old pieces. The remaining arm pieces can be found in the transept. Right, okay. Just gonna do one last thing. Um where you come in here, which is the leading lots of the transept. Um there's a well in here. Now you need to make sure that you have that piece of meat from that room just before the chancel. So if we just take that, attach it to the rope, and we swivel this around. Transept, which is the last place where we can get the odd pieces. Did Gunsu find myself getting? Oh, yes, I know, he said that last time. And that is today where we are going to end the episode. Um, it's gone on a little longer than I anticipated. I thought we would manage to get through the entirety of the odd pieces with enough time to spare, but apparently not. Oh well, we'll carry on this in the next episode, which should come on. Friday. No, Thursday. Which is tomorrow. Look at that. See, you only have to wait one day. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.